all right guys hey guys i'm back and today i'm coming to you guys with another um synthetic wig review today's wig review is brought to you by hair so fly shout out to them for sponsoring another video i requested um another one of sensational's uh cloud nine what lace wigs i reviewed morgan by the time this goes up it'll be like a few days in between and you guys like really enjoyed that video which i was like really surprised I had a lot of positive reception from you guys and i really appreciate you guys watching it even before i uploaded that video i requested another wig from that same collection and this is uh solana and I have Solana in the color of Flamboyage Copper. If you haven't watched Morgan, I'm just gonna give you like a brief overview of what this collection is about because I was um, I was trying to be very detailed in the Morgan review, but I'll try to make it a little bit more concise this time. With this collection, they are giving you kind of an illusion hairline, so it's supposed to look really, really natural with minimal effort so it has 13 by 6 ear to ear lace so it's a synthetic frontal and uh, has a pre-plucked hairline and it actually does have a pre-plucked hairline this time i got flamboyage copper instead of chocolate so this is what the copper looks like so you do have some blonde pieces in there with some reddish brown and then the roots it's like a number four mixed with highlights of like a reddish brown so this is what the pardon space looks like. And this is what the hairline looks like without anything being done to it. As far as the construction of the cap, you get your 13 by six area up front, a comb on the far right and left, a comb in the back as well as adjustable straps. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. And last time I had issues with finding the right color wig cap. So I am, I have, my hair is not braided in plaits anymore. It's just like tw twisted, cause I just recently washed my natural hair. So I have on a brown wig cap underneath my black wig cap. So I am going to pull this up just a little bit. So here we are, and this is what the hairline is looking like. So the knots that you see up front, we're just gonna cover those with uh, pressed powder. All right, so this is the middle part with the black cap. I wore Morgan as a middle part, so, but I kind of want to wear this one as a middle part too. And I have all the length back here. This is the length of it on me. It, it's pretty long. It falls about 22 inches and I'm six feet tall. So this is what it looks like before it's been brushed out or anything. pretty good density um, in the last review the Morgan video a lot of people well a couple of people were um, commenting on the density and that was kind of thin it's not super thick but it's not super thin either this one feels like it's um, has more volume and it's more full than Morgan so um, let's see how it looks as a side on the side I don't think I mentioned the texture in my Morgan video, but these both have the same texture. They feel more so on the, I don't think it's, it's kind of in between silky and yakky. It's not like super coarse, but it's not like all the way silky. It's in between. So this is the side part. And if you wear it as a side part, you're gonna have to mold it. I don't, I don't feel like wearing it on the side. I really don't. I just love how middle parts look. But you guys got the idea of what that looked like, so. All right, so 
this is what the hairline is looking like here uh, just like Morgan I feel like it looks pretty natural without anything um, being done to it but it is lifting because this is a large cap so I'm gonna spray some got to be glued um, free spray and for people who don't know this is not like hardcore glue it just has got to be glued in the um, name of it and my edges are full like all the way around my edges are healthy and full so if you want to preserve your edges you know you don't have to do this but if you want to use this and preserve your edges all you have to do is um, when you're taking it off don't just yank it off your head even though this isn't glue if you still pull it off your head you're still gonna um, run the risk of pulling out some of your edges so you just take a spray bottle a spray bottle spray it on your edges saturate the lace really good and then you can lift the wig off your head so this is not damaging it just you just have to be smart with how you put it on and take it off so and I'm just using my 3-in-1 edge brush with the spatula end and I'm going to use that spatula part just to press the lace down before I put my scarf on. Okay, so I'm back and I have applied Solana and I want to try to contain my excitement and I'm not trying to hype this wig up at all. Like I'm coming to you guys honest as I always am in my videos. <sighs> this wig looks absolutely amazing, amazing. And I'm, I'm going to tell you guys if I don't like something on my channel. This, this line so far from the two that I've tried are very beginner friendly. This hairline is the truth. Like, I want to scream. I'm so excited. Like, the density on this one um, is it's more full than Morgan. So if you felt like Morgan was on the thin side, this might be a better fit for you. It would be really nice if they had like a uh, kinky straight texture or like just expand the line different lengths and textures and everything so the texture I already told you guys is like a cross between yakky and silky um really nice luster to it it's not shiny if the root looks shiny at all I did uh, enlist the help of some foam some uh, styling mousse just to make sure the top was flat because my hair is not really braided um, flat underneath this wig so I wanted to make sure everything looked nice and flat. I am getting some shedding from this wig and this is true shedding because um, I didn't manipulate it at all. I just cut the lace but it's just a few strands here and there. It's not too bad. I feel like all of them are super long and I feel like they are going to tangle. Alright guys, so it is day two of me wearing Solana. I'm going to still include like the first day footage. When I first recorded this wig, like I was super hyped and trying to contain myself and everything. So, um, well I decided to come back with like second day footage, um, just to see how I feel like in the short term and see if any of my thoughts about this wig are more like sobering or whatever. My thoughts today. So the part was looking a little bit wide. It didn't look bad, but I put a little bit of matte black eyeshadow on the part just to slim it up. And 
and I brushed it out just a little bit more today and this is what she's looking like today I feel like the same as the first day I feel like it's very very beautiful and I do want to emphasize and stress this this is still a synthetic wig I think a lot of people are I mean of course people want to see updates and how it you know lasts and everything and I'm gonna do an update for you guys in the future but at the end of the day this wig is still a synthetic wig so the key feature about this collection this wet lace collection is how um, natural the hairline looks nothing about this collection said anything about this hair is like you know human hair or, or anything like even when companies do like premium synthetic wigs it's still a synthetic wig and if it's long it's still gonna tangle i've been wearing wigs for for eight years even my favorite wigs tangle like all of my longer wigs that i have eventually tangle that's just a given you just cap you just have to know that this is still not a human hair wig even though it looks very natural the hair is not human hair so so even with me only wearing this wig for a few days um i do have some shedding with this wig and i didn't do any customizing to it so i do have like two or three strands that come out when I like pull it. This is not a wig I feel like I can run my hands through. I feel like I'm gonna get some snags and this is gonna tangle. Like I've already accepted it, it's gonna tangle. Every wig from this collection, Morgan, Solana, and then Janelle, which is uh, the last one that I'm gonna try for you guys. That one is straight and it's long as well. All of these wigs are going to eventually tangle. Keep that in mind. I don't want you guys to be deceived. At the end of the day, it's still a synthetic wig, um, but it's a really nice one. Um, now, some people have issues with it being like $50 to $60. Some websites you can find it for like $45, and then some websites have it kind of upcharged, so just shop around. But I feel like it's well worth it. The hairline alone, if you don't feel like the hairline is something you even care about, you might want to pass on this collection because that is the main focus of it. The cap size is humongous, so if you have a peanut head, if you have a small head, you're gonna be swimming in it. I have a huge head and I have it on the tightest setting for this wig. Today I have on a black wig cap and it worked out perfectly fine. Yeah, so overall I think Solana is gorgeous. I, I honestly, I think I like it more than Morgan just because of the style of it, but Morgan is gorgeous too. I just really like how like glamorous and it just looks very appropriate for the holidays and stuff. If you are interested in Solana, head over to Hair So Fly and pick it up there. I wanna thank Hair So Fly for sending me this wig to review for you guys. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching another review of mine. If you are new here, make sure you are subscribed before you leave. And if you are somebody that watches my videos but you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and uh, turn on your notifications so you'll be notified every time that I do another upload. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.